Welcome to my channel. I'm Work and Travel and today I go in the city Shiva in Uzbekistan. And I show you the city because it has a lot of historical things from back in the days because this is the last city before it goes into the desert. So let's go right into it. <laughs> Не холодный это, нормально, да? Да, нормально. Пойдем? Да, да. Откуда вы? С Германии. Германия? Берлин? На Кельн. А? Кельн. Сигарет, видишь, хочешь? Нет, 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 я не курю. Значит, надо, да? Да, все. I go, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I go to the airplane. Yeah, uh -huh, Hot way. Uh, <laughs> like, um, because where do you go? Hot way. What is Abasna? Hot Abasna. Water, net. Water. No water. Hot uh, way. <laughs> It's so difficult sometimes to have the same yeah, language and to talk what you want and what you don't want. So we will go now to Shiva even if there was a nice airplane what I wanted to visit. Maybe I go back one another day to see this. But we will see. We are going to Piwa! Karam John invited me to his home and, and now we are driving, I don't know if he's uh, living here or if we are just visiting somebody else. Huh? So mostly if they see a tourist and they are excited and uh, like call everybody who they know <laughs> and then we meet each other. It's a lot exhausting because yeah, I have no time for myself the last five, six days since I'm here. <laughs> but yeah. It's it's really nice Hello. and generous, but it's also a lot of yeah attention Can and social me? power what you need all the time. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, now Hello. we will see, and it's still nice oh, and I like to meet English? people. Uh, but yeah, if you have it every time and every day, every minute, then it can be also a lot. <laughs> so we reached, I think, a cafe. Salam <laughs> I go no? Shiva. Shiva. No, it's perfect. It's good. Yeah. I am sorry. Kadam John needs to go somewhere else and I continue my journey. Water is still not easy to find for free, but many times people give me money or buy me water. Or in this case, they just don't charge me. I find a sleeping place on the countryside, the first time for myself, but a farmer comes and tries to convince me that I should be his guest. After he's for two hours on my campsite, I decide to go with him because I can't see a better compromise for us both, and not to insult his many invitations. The next morning I get to see the first time where I slept, because it was already dark when I arrived. Garavai and her younger brother Maruf Gejan are waiting already. 
they helped already their mother Habiba to milk the two cows, what will be later in my black tea or get served in a processed way as kefir on the side of the meals. Finally, I found my first co-worker who helps me as a cameraman over the next time. After breakfast, we take the eight months old Arif Yam with us and get to see how the neighbor kids catch some big fish. Quite brutal, but this is reality. To cope with the daily heat, Marouf Gijan and I take the best possible option, what is a nice mud bath. <laughs> mud bathing in the mad, mud, <laughs> big mud party. <laughs> and then we go in the water and get clean again. It's so funny, he's talking all the time, but I don't understand anything. <laughs> but we have fun, it's so interesting if children don't care if you understand them or not. And now we go home and eat something. <laughs> Where do we go? Kuda mo yedim. Kandai. They have like a new tractor, so they show me the new tractor and also which music they have. <laughs> so let's. This is a um, <laughs> cotton field. And we are here on this cotton field and these are my friends. <laughs> and we are... Video? My, yeah, had a video. And today I will go and go back to the street and go further to Riva and I will leave them. It was a fun time. It's not speaking the same language but still learning from each other and having fun. So I would say we go back to the street and I would say let's go. I finally came to Shiva, the city before it goes in the desert. And yeah, how you can see already, this caravan is going in the desert soon. Or oh, do you? <laughs> so I think I'll tell you a little bit more of the history from here. Shiva is the pearl of Eastern Middle Age architecture. According to the legends, Shiva was founded by a son of Noah, Shem, when he dug a well in the middle of the desert. People who drank water of that well exclaimed as sweet water. And this area became a caravan destination because of merchants frequent visit. For the next thousand years, the area was inhabited by several tribes that used the Amudaya river for irrigated agriculture. According to the archeologists, Kiva was found in the fifth or fourth centuries before Christ. As the first mayor structure were built, the city became known as a trading post on the Silk Road. Had a water supply directly from the Amudaya River by Kilkane Canal. Trade and social life was much flourished in the city at that time. And it came to a sudden end after Genghis Khan's army destroyed the area. Shiva 
gained its independence again, developed for the next several centuries. Mayer Constructions was reconstructed again, and it continued its active role on the Silk Road, trade with producing much precious goods. Ishankala has a 6 to 8 meters high, 6 to 7 meters wide and a 2.2 kilometers long city wall. As other fortresses in Central Asia, the city walls were built out of sun-baked bricks. The city rectangular in shape, 650 meters by 400 meters, and it has four gates facing to four sides of the world. Ishankala was a site for the Khan's palace. High officials, clergy and rich merchants lived there. The ordinary people, small merchants and, and craftsmen lived in Dishankala, what is the outer city, who was built 1842. Kiva was located on the crossroad of the Great Silk Road as an important post that connected two powerful lands, China and Rome. And what do you think, how many bricks are in this wall? <laughs> I guess it is too many to count. So I would say this is all what I could show you from Shiva and I hope you enjoyed my video and I would say see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>